a crawdad. Oh, Greg, what's a crawdad? Mm -hmm. And then we had an insect on a bush, and he would move his head just like man. What insect moves his head just like man? Praying mantis. And then you have the sharks. Why is the shark so important? He's the only fish species that blinks both eyes at the same time. And then you have that insect. He has six legs, but he doesn't walk. What insect has six legs he doesn't walk? Dragonfly. That's the right answer. And let's answer the question, kids. Can a fly fly upside down? How does he get on the ceiling? He flies upside down. What's the only fish species that can blink both eyes at the same time? That's sharks, okay? What's the only bird that flies backwards? Hummingbird, very good. You see, it's important we know these things, okay? It's important we know these things. Now, I wonder, if a rattlesnake leaves his den, how does he find the way back? Does anybody know? You guys know, how does he know? He what? No, not his skin. How does he find his way back to the hole? Because if it gets cold outside and he's left outside the den, what happens to him? <laughs> he dies. How does he find his way back to that hole? Does anybody know? He doesn't have a map. <whistles> hey, read the map. How does he find his way back? Toward the end of the tail, there's an opening called the vent. He has some musk glands there, and he leaves a scent trail. He goes out there and gets that rabbit or that rat, that squirrel, turns around, and with that tongue, he finds that scent trail right back to his hole. Those things have always fascinated me. And how many of you deer hunt? You got deer hunters? Who's deer hunt? How many stomachs does a deer have? How many guys and girls? How many? Four. He knows the answer to that. How many teeth do they have in the front right here? How many teeth? Zero. You're exactly right. She was in my class Thursday. And what's the only internal organ the deer doesn't, that you have that the deer doesn't have? Gall. Bladder. Nature is so much fun. And here's something you'll here's something you'll understand. Now, kids, I want you to listen to. I want you to learn this. We're gonna get on with it. Snake presentation. A human has five million scent receptors. We can smell some things. I smell that onion cookie over there. Don't you guys? I'm getting hungry. A dog has 220 million scent receptors. A deer has 300 million. He can smell us a half mile away. And what happens if he smells us? You deer hunters, what happens? He goes the other way. We're never going to see him, okay? All right, we're going to have some fun. Miss Sharon, let's do this quick. Let's do the fast hands first. I need an ace bandage. I got one right here.